right, so we're in the final part of the arena, and they are gonna throw at us the worst of the worst. <laughs> Basically, when it's a movement, uh, I'm gonna be trying to skipping this a little bit because if he takes a lot of hits, uh, this is his first phase. It will try and uh, charge at you. Uh, this is when the the arrows are the only thing that can hit it. Because if you get close, he'll just knock you out. And when it does that, that's when you get close to it. And then you start hitting it with your sword. Especially using slow time, of course. So I'm gonna be doing this repeatedly, because that's basically the only thing this monster does. It runs around, and then sticks its tail, its tail on the ground, and then you hit it with your sword. And then it does the same thing over and over again. So I'll skip it till it's almost dead. I am so glad I skipped this because it really took me a while to get his life to this point, seriously. It takes a really serious amount of hits. And there are a couple of things, uh, cutscenes now that we need to take, that we need to get out of the way. <laughs> Alright. So we beat the biggest boss in this place. Now let's see what happens. This is for a massive total. Two winners and only one prize. Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades! I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is... Back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy in it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this! I'm going to put on a good fight, but I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show, and that's what we're going to do. Let's go. So we start our fight with Whisper. She's as lame as ever. <laughs> She's pretty quick though, but not very resistant. Yeah, it's kind of like an abuse to hit a with her berserk. I mean, she's from the guild. She's supposed to use berserk as well, but I guess she doesn't. She uses the most lame spells ever. Like seriously. Just some little bombs and stuff. That's so threatening. <laughs> we have a winner here tonight, folks! All he has to do is give her one final strike, and the bonus prize is his! But will he do it? Will he kill Whisper? Or will he throw his victory away? Don't do it, farm boy. We agreed. Just walk out. 
Well, let me think about it for a second. Uh, I said that I agree on it, but... Well, no. Right then. A fight to the death it is, you bastard. You can forgive Whisper's life. Uh, not much would change. I guess, uh, the whole prize is yours if you beat her down. So, sorry, babe. <laughs> doesn't happen often. But I forget my manners. I am Lady Grey, the Mayor of Bowerstone. As I was saying, hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. She was a fine hero, just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came at a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother. Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion. Yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, You've earned the champion's seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Bowerston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. Bye. 
Hey, you. Teresa wants you to meet her at the Greyhound. All right, so we did it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next part.